Not to say that people like don't respect Villager, but people are like, okay, I'm probably gonna go my main for Villager. I don't feel the need to like counter pick this character right now, right? Well, my main kind of sucks because it relies on projectiles. And what does uh, Villager like to do? He likes to deny projectiles. Throw them right back at you. But Villager struggles with reflectors too, though. But I don't have a reflector. Dude, what if Belmont had a reflector? It would be amazing. Anyways. Yeah, we're about to get some. Hype winners round five. We'll we see. got a huge space dragon fighting uh, a chill villager. Space <laughs> pirate dragon. Yeah, it's gonna be really rough. It's going exactly how I thought it would be, where like Ed Boy just has to get in from the okay balloons. I wonder if Ed Boy knew that too. Charging that up smash. Okay, the fire breath thrown out for no reason against Ed Boy. Well, he's only going to ever be able to pocket that one projectile, and I think he's only ever going to be able to pocket one at a time. So it'll we'll, we'll be interesting to see how he uses it. Good tech coming out from Panda Bear, Two and tech? just like that, we have a game here, boys and girls. Absolutely Not one-sided anymore. And I love, I love when Panda Bear does that. He just used the... Oh, oh canceling the out the command grab. Yeah, and the good thing is the tree's on the side over there, so, like, now he can't try and plant the tree at the ledge to, like, mess up any type of recovery at all. Yeah, of course, but it also means he can now whip out that gnarly axe. Yeah, and I was gonna say, too, like, Panamere doesn't want to stay on that ledge too long because he will get Space Pirate Rush. Oh, the dash tech! Is that what Ridley side is, is canonically called? Space yeah, Pirate Space Rush? Space Pirate Rush. That's a cool name. It's super, super cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Ed Boy failing uh, Villager 101, which is do not approach tree. Base for it. I'm surprised that it didn't kill there. It got bugged. But Panda Bear having DI. So Panda Bear's not like even DI. on the screen for the last 10 seconds. He's like, I, he's, he's like camera shy right now. Just, That's so. I was gonna say, like, Villager doesn't even need to be on the stage to just be doing stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Double up air and he's catching that gigantic hurt box up smash. But Ed Boy, I mean. If you're if you're that big of a character, you kind of just struck off all those hits. You're like, you already know you're gonna be taking all these hits. You know, yeah, but see, Ridley is unfortunately light for how big he is, right? So, decent. oh, nice. that, that's a classic end point wait, play. By wait, the way, wait, 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 wait. Yep. Like, we okay. Know how to tech here. First of all, he completely evened up the percent of that play. Second of all, I've seen Ed Boy do that play many times. When he's losing, he'll do basically, you know, like a Ganon side. But actually, right now he's sealing out that stock. Sitting pretty right now. Yeah, he needed that. And what's what's nice is when you're down there with that, you can release it whenever you want, as uh, really, or until your uh, opponent matches out of it. But usually, around those percent too, the Ridley would choose when they want to release you. And he chose right. at the best time. It's really low, but Panda Bear. Just, oh, you know, it's unfortunate when they when they give even single turn in. What? I, I, I think. I think yeah, well, I think it's after some points with it and chance. Cancel out the hurt box. I didn't even know it, could, it would cancel it out. That's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, that, that that's still ballsy though, because you know you're risking, you know, not even hitting it with F tilt versus like getting hit with tree. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's crazy. Yo, the dash tank gonna catch him, and Ed Boy just doing a really good job powering through this projectile house of pellets. I mean, hey, he's got he's got a big in there. He's got a big spin. It actually has good destroying on it. I mean, what, what's been really working out for him is his Epto. He's been just canceling out a lot of stuff. He has been getting wait, a wait, lot wait, of wait, mileage with Epto. And that Space Dragon Rush is not quite enough. And that forward air. Still not going to be enough. It's a good move for Carby. Yeah, I mean, drop that, down, try and air him. That back air, you cannot. Unteckable. I saw the red flash. Wow. Clean. Clean because, you know, you know, uh, you knew Villager was going to go low, take his time, and, you know, he... he He's yeah, vulnerable-ish. So we like, like so got that a, stage fake. Isabel, where she can snap too with the with the fishing rod. She can but recover I, with fishing rod. Isabel right. can? Yeah. So like exactly like Belmont? Oh, exactly yeah. like ZSS more like. Yeah, but it, like they do like a rear back and then they catch it. The, the other thing as well is like it works the same way as all tethers do, where if somebody interrupts it, it interrupts the ledge there, it'll prioritize that and grab them. But it, it's Isabel, it doesn't matter. Three, it's, it's, it's Isabel. Two, one, but I'm gonna say, like, just really good stuff from Ed Boy, able to just grind it out. Because earlier in the beginning of the match, it looked like he was losing a bit, but he definitely found his stride, those yeah. F tilts. He definitely had the key plays the F tilts, the side B at the ledge, the stage spike that was untackable. He had, he had, like, all the key plays at the right times, you know, yeah, all that. And I, I saw that was gonna hit. And 
Okay, he, he's holding on to a stock just barely by the skin of his teeth. Oh, wow, that's so unfortunate. He dropped down in back air, and he did it perfectly timed, but since it hit the tree... Yeah, so uh, let's play some neutral now for once. Oh, he's doing it pretty well. I mean, he's already at high percent taking that bowling ball, but like I said, it's just not bothering... All these big heads are not bothering... Ed boy, and it's just really unfortunate for Villager because Villager has to drive off that, like, it's kind of annoying you almost in a sense. Well, yeah, and, and I mean, like, Villager's a zoner at the end of the day, right? So, oh, yeah. so Panther's doing a good job, just after all, like, he is winning this game, Keep, keeping Ridley out, capitalizing on his weaknesses, like, oh, with wow. that F smash. I'm surprised that uh, Ridley's there to uh, beat out Villagers at that point. I guess that it didn't come down to the bottom at first. Like I said, he's still doing a really, really good job, Panda Bear. Kind of at a scary percent right now. He's setting up trees. He's setting up. And I don't even know what that was. I don't know if he tried to get up I, attack or if he I, got regular. It ha oh, it was down so. Oh, yeah, that is. That's very smart. Because since he uses the tree there, it lasts forever. Yeah, that's also a good ledge trap. Oh my goodness. Nair into jab. I feel like he could have matched out of that one because he took so much damage for getting dragged across the stage. Well, the way that Space Power Rush works is if your opponent at a lower percent, it's much, much harder for them to jab it, uh, to mash out of it, just like Ganondorf. Uh, oh, okay. Flame choke. So. Uh, beautiful use of the uh, the up Yeah, a little Couldn't recovery mix up, then find himself trapped at the ledge for that one. Yeah, I thought he was going to uh, hit the platform as well, but he just didn't. All right, Nair to back air. Uh, this is going to be really hard for him to recover. Oh, that he did is, it flawlessly. That okay, now I see that like Ridley's up here actually has pretty good magnet hands. You saw him kind of get well, that angle when he does, and still snap on. Because it's just really weird. When he does the forward uh, up B, you go down. It's really weird. So yeah. like, it'll grab like right where his wings are. But anything higher than that. Oh, he tried to get all two balloons, but it just wasn't enough. Yeah, it's so tricky because you have to hit just the balloons but not Villager himself. Otherwise, you know, you'll Got to do it though. Yep. So, full stock deficit for Ed Boy. Panda Bear definitely doing a good job this second game. I don't, clearly I don't, ha he clearly has some kind of adaptation where he figured out like kind of how to keep him out. Yeah, he was able to to, to capitalize on the edge guards uh, this past game with the tree and just keeping Ed Boy there, not letting him uh, get back on the stage. No, neutral definitely looks rough for Ed Boy. In fact, like as I was saying, the reason Ed Boy won last game is he had like <sighs> good key plays. And he's just gonna drop a bowling ball on his head and say, game three. Yeah, yeah it hurts, but we shake those off. I don't know about you, but if I got a bowling ball dropped on my head, I probably wouldn't be able to just shake it off. But but then well, again, I'm, is, but I'm not a space pirate dragon. Look at him, he's been re-put back together. He's a mecha right now. That's pretty, that's pretty badass. They like reconstructed him. Then again, it's also kind of cliche. Like how, how many guys come back and they're like, I'm a cyborg now. It's cliche, yeah, right? That's the future. That's how the future was in the 90s and 80s and that whole <laughs> era, you know? That's how the future was. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Metroid, uh, the whole series, was loosely based off of the, uh, the Alien series. Um, I never explicitly knew that, but I think like that makes like 100% sense, right? Yeah. You, kinda, you know, you have the Metroids, they're like the, the suckies, whatever they're called. The, 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 the You know, Yeah, I mean, Met 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 Metroids are, uh, are a disturbing thing. They're like these weird, creepy parasites, so. Yeah, but here we are. I, I like this stage choice because it's kind of like Battlefield, but you die off the sides easier. Yeah, but, uh, what did we play game one on? The one where, uh... We played on PS2. PS2, okay. I believe so. Oh, a little bit of risk there on that recovery. Oh, I thought he was going to F-Smash, but he didn't want to get clipped by the jab, so good stuff from Ed Boy. Yeah, try to go for the down to the game, but quick clip by the Pebbles. Forward air, doing all of this turn. Ooh, I like that. Up tilt to back air. And the unfortunate what? SD from Panda Bear. What happened? I I mean, hey man, it's an SD. Oh, it no. to the best of us. Uh, but he's going to clap back real quick. Completely unfazed, and we were two stocks apiece, except for that tree Already that just know. fell on him. Yeah, that, that tree did a hefty, hefty percent. He's definitely getting chipped away, man, by the slingshot. I mean, yeah, that's just the, the most annoying thing about this matchup. Is you're always, wow, the pie and another bowling ball. I, I mean, personally, I would say that's just one of Villager's strengths. His, Villager's forward and back air are amazing. They, they, they even kill eventually at close range. Yeah, I, I gotta wonder if... Honestly, uh, it's like Mega Man pellets. There, yep. Keep him out there. 
Let's see if Fat Boy can capitalize here. Yeah, that's... Wait, wait. Okay. Fantastic DI. Okay, so you know, <laughs> the bowling ball rocket. has a lot of knockback, but damage-wise, 68. I mean, if he can seal this out right now, this, this ain't too crazy. Okay, being cautious around the tree there. Canterbury having just tremendous lead going on right now. I like and and it seems thing. like Ed Boy's completely stopped using. It. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And he had to air dodge. I was gonna say it seemed like Ed Boy completely stopped using his own projectile. Um, it's just really hard to set up, especially on triplats. When you have those triplats there, you're never gonna really like hit those unless you can see that uh, they're gonna try and drop down mm. there or whatever. But Panavir just had <clears throat> all that going for them. He had all the setups that he needed. He chipped away with uh, the pellet, and he mm. got the crazy early kills at bowling ball. So. I want to call that a good adaptation, man, or at least like, if, or, or maybe it was a set where just like the plays were key, you know, Ed Boy was able to get those stocks